is 1030. That means it's time for Celebrity Dish. And for that, we have the media prince yes. squeezing us into his schedule. Because I know you're always booked and busy. Well, you know, I'm just trying to be like you. Yeah, and did we no. end up, did we end up yeah. fulfilling that last invoice that we owe you? I know. I think so. I want to okay. say I was checking the email earlier. And good, I was okay. Okay, we're good. So we're good to go. Right. Okay. He's here all day. Good. But no, it, was, it was a pleasure really seeing you at Broccoli City Fest uh, a few, a couple of weeks ago. I mean, he was running things, interviewing this person, you don't that have to tell person, me. I know. everybody in between. It was just a great experience. Uh, and the heat wasn't as, as intensified as I thought it was going yeah. to be, mm -hmm. so thank goodness on that. Uh, but it was a really good time just to fellowship as well, get to see people like you out there and just really get that camaraderie. It was really a good experience. It I had was. a ball. Okay. And my liver is painful. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, plenty of libations yes. and other things as well as yes. a good time. Yes. Uh, speaking of which, we got a good time in terms of entertainment because the MTV VMA nominations are officially out. This is one of my Ooh, favorite award shows, yes. by the way. They don't get the credit. No, they not should at all. get more credit. Yeah. But this morning, we're going to take a look at who will be vying for the Moon Man this year. I guess the TV agrees with me. It just flashed. <laughs> Producer Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Technical difficulties. Nominees. Technical difficulties. Sorry about that, Marissa. They didn't mean to cut you off. However, we are talking about the MTV VMAs, and this should come as no shock to anyone who has watched this show and knows how much we talk about her. But Taylor Swift is in the lead, front of the pack, with 10 nominations. She's nominated for her collaboration with Post Malone on the song Fortnite. And speaking of Post Malone, he's Taylor's closest competition, as a matter of fact. He's trailing her by only one nomination. He has nine. Those two are followed by Ariana Grande, Sabrina Carpenter, and Eminem, who each received six nominations. Taylor will also face off with Eminem's Houdini for Video of the Year. Ooh. If Taylor wins, she could become the first artist to ever win Video of the Year three times. But here's the big question. Beyonce nominated for Song of the Year, one award for Texas Hold'em, but that's despite the fact she has not released a single music video. Right. Executive producer Jeff Gygax called it a snub. But Marissa, is it a snub if there are no visuals, should you still be nominated for Video Music Award? Mm. Oh, so no, you shouldn't. And I love Beyonce I like the next person. And I know they gave her the Michael Jackson video vanguard, yeah, you did. know, thing a, a few years ago. But she didn't deserve it this time. Beehive, don't come Bra for me. Uh, the visual. Uh, Song of yeah. the year, maybe, because she did make history with it. But visual or video? Well, can yeah. I be no devil's bueno. advocate? Because she did give us a semi-visual to introduce that the song was coming out. Not a 30-second so, IG video. You know, so yeah. that was a little visual <laughs> right the there. That was a little creative the direction. <laughs> yeah, I, listen, I, I agree with you on this yeah. one here. I think you got to actually put together a video to be a part of the Music Video Awards. That is the whole thing about this award show. And uh, let me just say this. Taylor Swift, I think the album wasn't as great, but this video was fantastic. It was. It was amazing. The cinematography was there. The color coding was there. The editing was there. Everything made sense, Chris. Uh, but I don't think that Taylor Swift deserved this one. Uh-oh. I think... Jacqueline Matter, man. Let's see. Some words for you. I, 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 th Steve, I think Sabrina... Oh. I'm a Swifty. I am a Sabrina so. Carpenter fan. And okay. I think that she is going to sweep the awards this year. Really? She is incredible. Uh, she's an amazing talent. She has I love a way espresso. She has the a espresso way better voice. Yeah. may be the song of the espresso. Yeah, yeah. I, it is a song of the summer. She's got a way better voice. Let's, well, my let's be question honest. is, I think she hates it. Now it's just getting personal. Now it's just getting personal. I mean, look, sue me. Uh, my thing is, will, will Taylor even be able to go? I mean, she's on tour right now. I mean, unless they give her the biggest award of the night, Tay Tay won't be there. She will not be there. Well, she yeah. usually comes. She she's part of the ensemble of what makes us want to tune into the VMAs. You exactly. have Beyonce, you have Taylor. I Swift. think that's why Beyonce. You want to see them on the camera. You want to see their reactions. And yeah. let's just give it up. Taylor Swift has a funky good time at the award show, and so Post she Malone keeps the there. energy up. Yeah. So, um, fingers crossed, they're going to do whatever it takes to get her there. And she's leading the pack. Hey, Swifties. Oh, okay, yeah, I, yeah. I, I think Taylor deserves it. I, okay, I do. Right. And I'm not a Swiftie, but, I mean, listen. you know, one plus one is two. Oh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> but I do understand. It's going to be tight. It's it going to be, be tight. Yeah, Sabrina did a great job this year. All right, guys, let's go from music videos to new albums. This is one we have been talking about for a few days now. Cardi B looks like she could be almost ready to drop her long-awaited Long awaited is key here, sophomore album. So the Bodak Yellow Star has a couple of ideas bubbling for the name of the album. That's what we're talking about this morning. The entertainer already trademarked some names she's considering, including, quote, intrusive thoughts 
and, quote, defamation of character. That's according to TMZ. Mm -hmm. Cardi wants to use these phrases for the album, videos, and anything the celebrity can make a profit. Sources close to her say she's three-quarters of the way done with this album, and fans can expect this album at the end of the year, despite her pregnancy and looming potential divorce, guys. Mm. Three quarters of the way? Did she just start yesterday? <laughs> no, we've been waiting for this album. I'm tired, I am tired, I am tired. Barty gang, we are tired. Cardi B has been da dangling this album over us for like yeah. years it's now. And at this point, we're like, like at this point, she should have at least six albums. Hello? Yeah. Wasn't the first one Invasion of Privacy? It Did was. I get that right? And yeah. that was an amazing album. And of course, not everybody can have the Lauryn Hill effect where you just have that one album. We want more. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we're in the speed rapping sessions where everyone's giving us single after single after single. But we want a body of a work whole from body you, of work. We Cardi do. B. And we what do. are you doing? Like. Well, one thing I will say, and people have said this about Mary J. Blige's uh, albums over the years, when right. she's going through something, mm. you don't want people to go through anything. But when Mary is going through, mm. the album is fire. But she is. And Mary maybe J. that's what Cardi B is working on. Mm. She's like, I want to make sure I pour my whole life into this next work, and then it'd yeah. be it'd be genius. I get it, but she's no Mary J. Well, no, 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 I'm not. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm like, thank you for that clarification. I am no way <laughs> trying to they put them They may be from New same. York, but they are not the same. I can tell you that right <laughs> yeah, now. they're not the same. Thanks for this. <laughs> but but you a, caught my drift. There's a running drift. joke that we may get Rihanna's album before we get Cardi B's album. Really? <laughs> okay, Which well, would be, I'm not I mean, holding that my breath on that <laughs> I'm not holding my breath on that one. <laughs> Rihanna's too Thank busy you. down partying. Being a billionaire the, and things. Uh, yeah, on. that too. New kids, everything. All right, <laughs> let's talk about Drake now, Champagne Poppy, because he has a new side project, and it's a new Instagram page, all right? You see a screenshot of it right there, and he's apparently using it to dump some new music. Yesterday, he directed fans to the new account that is called Plot Twist. I'm sure there's a reason for that name. Segment producer Chanel Oliver, who works here at Fox 5, alleges this is actually Drake's Finsta account. I don't know if you guys think. Three new songs were posted, including Housekeeping Nose featuring Lotto, Blue Green Red, and the song It's Up featuring 21 Savage. The page also features dozens of random photos and videos. So do you think this is something that he's had all along and he's used to like creep on things and now he's just making it public? Or do you think he just launched this? Uh, I, I, I've looked over the page, and, uh, and I really found it fascinating to go through all the videos that he has on his page. He has a lot of stuff with Forty, his producer, a lot of stuff with all of his background entourage. So you get to see some of those intimate videos of him on tour and him at his house and things of that nature. Not a lot of videos of him inside of it, but, but of videos of other people. The songs were just mid. You found I mean, it fascinating? I did. <laughs> I found it confusing, because I'm like, why is he giving us this, and what are we supposed to do with this? We still need to, he's walking the fine line of trying to see what sticks at this point because Kendrick Lamar. I was about to say two words, Kendrick him. Lamar. Kendrick and Lamar. So, and that song is still in the top 10 on Billboard. Mm -hmm. It is still being played as if it just came out yesterday. And I think it'll win an award at the VMA. I think it will do numbers at the VMAs. Yeah. And I think Drake is just trying to see what's going to reel us back in. Yeah. This may not be it, but we'll see. But I, I wasn't fascinated. Not a, great, not a great way to respond to the beef that he's been dealing with. Because he really didn't address the issue that he just got absolutely because he can't. smothered. <laughs> you can't like, compete where you don't compare. There you go. So and all I think you can he, do. Exactly. I think in his own little way, he's like, let me step back a little bit and do something different. And yeah. maybe they'll forget about it. But I guess we're still talking about Kendrick Lamar. So it didn't work. Yeah. It, it was weird that he started to whole page by. I mean, yeah. what was the whole purpose of that? Correct. I don't get it. I think the only way, and if you're listening, Drake, come closer, to get your eyes back on you in a good light, get a major acting role, we'll all shut up. Oh. Huh. I, I like that. But I don't think he has the chops to be a major either? actor. No, no, no. He could act like a rapper, though. <laughs> oh! <laughs> There's the plot oh. twist. Is there a lot right of smoke there. is coming right. from Steven today. Oh. Media Prince, you mentioned oh. Lauren, Her H Lauren Hill earlier, and uh -uh. unfortunately we have some bad news. Fans <laughs> killing them softly. Apparently Lauren Hill and the Fugees have canceled their anticipated summer tour Again? before it even started, just days before it was supposed to start. <laughs> 18 show dates in the United States for the Miseducation Anniversary Tour quietly taken off Ticketmaster's site. 
ticket holders received refund notices as well. No reason given to fans for the cancellation. Shows overseas still on sale. It's supposed to kick off in Manchester, England on October 12th. No word whether that will actually happen or not. This actually marks the third year in a row that Lauren Hill and her bandmates have canceled some or all of their tour dates, guys. Listen, I, Miss Hill, I, I love Lauren. Can I Lauren. throw this pillow at the screen? Like, yeah, you should. Lauren, <laughs> Lauren, what are you doing? I love Lauren and I love the Fijis, but my question is, promoters to you, why do you guys keep booking her? Why? Because people like well, me well, what, is the, well, what is the purpose <laughs> of booking That's her? Why like She's me not going to show up and you're going to be embarrassed and now you got to pay people out. Now there's a lawsuit against you. What people. is the purpose? I was so excited to see El Boogie, especially after her BET performance. And everybody was like, Lauren's yeah. back, 25 years, miseducation of Lauren Hill. And then we do this. Yeah. So I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I will just... say on, on the brighter side, this is the most within like recent months that we've gotten her outside. This is true. So I guess she felt like that's enough. You guys have had enough. You yeah. guys don't care if the, and the tour is And that's exactly production. what she said. I can, hear, I can hear it. Say it in her voice. Um, my energy isn't good today. Okay. Cancel the whole tour. That's exactly right. <laughs> you said it. We got the appetizer. We're still my waiting for the entree. Are off. Yeah. My right. I didn't meditate today. We're canceling everything. Just canceled everything. But we just paid the yeah. budget. It's okay. Just cancel, cancel it. Cancel it all. They're coming in the door. It's mm. okay. But one oh thing God. about her and her star power is that people still have the interest. Yeah. We just need Lauren to show up. Yeah. That's it. The just interest show up. is there. Thanks for coming. <laughs> I had an amazing time. Georgia for Asia. Wow. All right, Jacqueline and Annie Mae. All right, guys, Grammy Award winner